When you have a medical device surgically implanted and there's a problem with it, you might consider suing the manufacturer. Just like the thousands of women who say Assure birth control has caused their serious health issues, but they can't sue the maker of Assure because of the way the device was approved by the FDA. Tonight, consumer investigator Jennifer Krause has found lawmakers in Washington who say it's time to change that. Jennifer? That's right, Vicki. Lawmakers today in the nation's capital said it is crazy that a company can't be held liable when its product is dangerous, especially when it's a medical device that's causing serious health complications and even deaths. And women who've used Desure birth control couldn't agree more. This is a very exciting day for everyone. Tess Shulman can't believe it's finally happening. For years, she and other women have been trying to warn others about the dangers of Esure, a birth control device made up of coils that are implanted in a woman's fallopian tubes. We first began reporting about problems associated with Esure three years ago. Since then, more than 25,000 women have complained about serious side effects, including extreme pelvic and abdominal pain, migraines, and damage to their uterus and other organs. But every once in a while, there's a medical device that will get approved through either a fast track approval or a more rigorous approval that may do more harm than good. And that's what we're here to talk about. Representative Mike Fitzpatrick, a Republican from Pennsylvania, was alarmed to hear that he sure has led to the deaths of at least four women and nearly 300 unborn children. And that when it was approved by the FDA, the federal agency gave the makers of Esure something called pre-exemption status, meaning the company cannot be sued for problems caused by the device. On the one-year anniversary of her death, I will introduce Ariel Grace's law. Now Fitzpatrick has introduced legislation that he says will change the way medical devices are reviewed and will give victims the right to sue. It's going to open a lot of doors, we hope, for women to pursue justice. Tess Shulman says this will not only hold manufacturers accountable for dangerous products, but she's hopeful it will help women who've been hurt by Usure. Out of the 29,800 people we have, uh, only a fraction of us have been able to afford to get the device removed. So with this legislation, we're hoping people can pursue legal avenues to help them get the device removed because there are so many women that are still suffering with it. As you heard, the legislation is being called Ariel Grace's Law. It's named after a little girl who was stillborn after her mother's Esure failed. Now, it's important to note that if this measure passes, it's not going to apply only to Esure, but all medical devices. Right now, there are some 360,000 devices that have FDA-protected FDA status, and their makers cannot be sued if the product is unsafe or defective.